So Mr. Beast's legal team did send me a cease and desist, and here's my official response to that. This is a story of boy meets girl, but you should know up front, this is not a love story. What's going on, guys? I got a quick update. I just wanted to jump on here and tell you immediately. Apparently, Mr. Beast, allegedly, sent out a, a cease and desist. Hope I said that right. But he had his lawyers contact a content creator who was spreading information on him. I don't think the information was false. They kept showing like a bunch of receipts. But I, I guess maybe Mr. Beast just think that is false and he want to end it. I don't think that. It, the way it seems or the way I'm perceiving it is I'm a big business guy. I have money. Let me intimidate and scare you into not talking about me. Mr. Beast ain't really apologize or even acknowledge this stuff, really, right? He did come out and say, oh, we're going to investigate Chris. But then Chris came out and like said he was going to quit. So when Mr. Beast said he fired him, it's kind of wishy-washy, right? We, we really don't know, actually. We don't know in reality, right? But I think time will tell. They are friends, so they're probably just looking out for each other on what's going to be the best to keep the money coming in, right? But... I can understand if people are spreading false information or maybe even exaggerating. It seems that that happens when the dog pal starts. I can understand wanting to clear the, the air and getting things like settled. You could also do that by coming out and speaking on it. Um, whatever, that's your choice. So I can understand if that's the case. But if you are out here trying to use these intimidation tactics to get people, especially smaller YouTubers, to stop talking about you, it's going to be over for your career. If this is legitimate, you sent that to this person. It's real. And they never lied on you. Mr. Beast would be disgusted. And I'm not going to say his career is over because he has so much money, so much fans. He got so many subscribers that if he was losing a huge amount of subscribers, we wouldn't even see a dent in it yet. It would take a while. Right. If I was to even look at his and that's not me saying I hope for it. Right. I don't want anyone to misinterpret me. But as far as like receiving consequences, if he was to even, let me see, start losing subs. He has so many subs that we wouldn't notice. He probably is losing a bunch of subs. Right. But for the past few days. Yeah. Because look at this. He got a million subs on Sunday. The 28th. Right. It's just the, the style of his content. Oh, adults are finding out what's going on and we're not liking it, right? Adults are, are disagreeing of it and giving them criticism, but majority of his fans are children and they don't care, right? They probably don't know about none of this stuff. They not on Twitter or any of these platforms where we're discussing this stuff. They on YouTube. They don't watch commentary. They not interested in that. They, they interested in seeing this dude, Mr. Beast, come out here and put a thousand marbles in a jar or something. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be riding this giant skateboard. They ain't got time to read and look at deep articles. The parents, though, they should be the ones more aware. But kids, if they, especially if they've been fans of Mr. B, you ain't stopping them from watching them, right? I don't think he's going <laughs> to receive. He's that big. In order for him to receive any form of penalty... Right, it's it's gonna take a lot. We gonna need way bigger content creators talking about them. Content creators almost on his level. Like, look at this. This dude. I'm looking at Mr. Beast page. He got over 307 million subscribers. Even if a million people right saw this and was like, "Oh, I can't mess with him," and unsubscribe, we would barely notice that, bro. Because every time he gets a big boom, right, which he puts out a good video, this happens with a lot of YouTubers, you put out a good video, right, and your subscribe account raises for a little bit, right? Sometimes you put out a good video and you get like 10 subs off of it. You're like, oh, it shows you 10 subs. Sometimes you're getting hundreds. Ooh, the bigger the YouTuber you are, and if you're doing what the algorithm is suggesting, your number every time you put out a good video goes up like significantly. He's in the million range. He has reached a level of already being so known and having popular content and putting out high level videos and all that to where you can't hurt him. It, it would take a lot. 
it would take a lot. And that's not me saying I want it to be done. But look at people like Jake Paul, Logan Paul. They have like a whole hate community and they're still killing it. Mr. B's got 307 million. His last video, if you use a look, hold on, I don't want it to start. It's going to start playing. If it does, my bad, guys. I don't want the video to start playing. But if it does, uh, not that. So yeah, his last video got 206 million. There's people that don't get that in 10 years. He got in one video, 206 million. A video before that, I built 100 houses and gave them away, 109 million. He's getting hundreds and hundreds of millions per uh, video, which means he's getting like, if he put out a good video, right? The, it's getting like a million subscribers, bro. This dude is killing it. He's kind of too big to fail when it comes to content creation. I think even if he had a dip, right, it, it wouldn't hit him significantly. He's too big to fail at this point. But once again, that's not me asking for it. Yeah, look at him. He does the same type of content. It's all hundreds and hundreds of millions. It's to his body and stuff. How frequently is he putting out content? I know he has a new show that's supposed to be coming out. I think on Amazon, right? He did like a, a challenge show, like a Mr. Beast challenge TV show. We'll see. Tom will tell, man. Plus, look, he got all of these like famous YouTubers in the video. So it's he knows what to do to get that uh that algorithm pumping. This dude's like a, a algorithmologist, right? He knows the exact type of thumbnail, the exact type of title, right? All the type of editing tactics and everything. So where he definitely could get it. his last video. Wow. I was going to say, did I get more than the Squid Games drink? Nah, his Squid Games drink had 639 million. Whew. But that's a two year video. He recreated Squid Games. Then two years ago, that's crazy. And that drink got over 600 and something million. That's, whoa. That's ridiculous. More than double his subscriber count. Right. Um, I don't think that he's going to suffer any kind of huge loss, which is why I don't understand why he's not taking a little bit more accountability and actually shutting a lot of stuff down. He lied and said, oh, I had no idea about the." And then the screenshots come out. You were in the discord with Chris Tyson getting crazy, getting full fledged crazy in it. Talking about the size of his what? That was nasty. That, I don't condone that. I don't condone that. That was, that was crazy. Like, well, what is you doing out here? Right? That's what that's what type of time Chris Tyson and Mr. Beast was on. Right? And I've watched Mr. Beast, right? Like, I've, I've watched his interviews more than his actual content because he be saying some genius level stuff when it comes to content creation. I don't know what the hell, what, why, why are we doing that? What was this? Right? I don't, I don't rock with that. As far as him sending the cease and desist, I do think that that's grimy. Right. Um, especially if the person didn't spread no false information on you, because this dude, Mr. Beal's got the money. He could take you to court and really mess your life up, which is a nasty bully tactic that a lot of businesses get on. But it's part of the game. Tell me what your opinion is down in the comment section. Hey, guys, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Now, if you have some extra time can you do me a favor, check out my music, I rap, I sing and I make beats. All of that should be linked in the description. Also, if you want to watch me live stream, you can check me out on BXB Boy Live. That's another YouTube channel. It should be linked to my homepage. And you can check me out on Twitch and Rumble. I'm streaming on all these platforms, man. Trying to just get out there. Also, if you want to support me, you can sign up for my memberships on my channel, as well as my Patreon for as low as $1. You get exclusive access to a bunch of videos early before you even get it on YouTube, as well as videos that's not ever going to be on YouTube. Stuff that actually got me suspended and banned. It's, it's kind of my anti-cancel culture fun for BX Beast Boy. You know what I mean? And it also helps me get resources for certain video essays and things of that nature. Check that out if you're able to. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. And join my Discord if you are able to, man. The link should be somewhere within my description or somewhere on my channel. I would really love to see you there, man. That's where you get a chance to talk to me and the rest of my supporters, man. I appreciate you guys. Bang, gang, out.